The president is expected to announce 40 million of you will not have to start repaying your federal student loans until the end of August. Now, it's not official yet. The president is supposed to be making it official at an event tomorrow. But this comes as the current student loan forbearance program was set to expire on May 1st. So what does this mean for you? Qualified federal student loan payments will not have to be made. The interest rate will remain at zero and federal student loan servicers will not send delinquent accounts to collections until August 31st. Now, again, this is student loan forbearance. This is not student loan forgiveness. Democrats wanted the president to at least extend the forbearance program through the end of the year, and Republicans wanted the payments to resume, saying the extensions have cost taxpayers more than $100 billion, and it's contributing, they say, to inflation. We'll get more details about what exactly this extension may entail at tomorrow's event when the president makes the official announcement. Pretty soon, the Biden administration will end a Trump-era policy at the border, and as a result, Homeland Security is bracing for an influx of migrants. The policy is called Title 42, and according to Homeland Security, it'll end on May 23rd. It's a policy authorized by the CDC that requires migrants to be expelled from the United States, mostly to Mexico, when they arrive at the border due to the threat of COVID-19, bypassing all normal immigration screening procedures, including humanitarian protections under U.S. law. So far, Border Patrol says since 2020, 1.7 million migrants have been expelled from the country as a result of Title 42. 70% have been expelled since Biden took office. Now, President Trump enacted this policy at the beginning of the pandemic, and then President Biden extended it amidst a lot of criticism last year. Immigration advocates and some lawmakers have questioned why, if the country is moving on from COVID-19, is the policy still relevant? Others have said this policy has been the easiest mechanism to control the potential influx of migrants at the border. The Department of Homeland Security says it's preparing for this influx of migrants, as I said, not only because of the lifting of Title 42, but also because of the typical spring migration patterns that we see typically every year. U.S. Customs and Border Protection reports in February almost 190,000 encounters between agents and migrants. In all of 2021, there were almost 2 million. In his announcement about the end of Title 42 and what will happen to those crossing the border, the Homeland Security Secretary said, let me be clear, those unable to establish a legal basis to remain in the United States will be removed. Several states have sued to try and stop the Biden administration from ending Title 42, and some lawmakers have even suggested using the extension of Title 42 as an ultimatum to get additional COVID-19 funding passed through Congress. Regardless of what happens, Homeland Security says it's preparing for the end of Title 42 by expanding border facilities, evaluating asylum requests, and migrant processing capacity. DHS is also increasing personnel and redeploying more than 600 law enforcement officers to the border.